suppression of eugenics law, the new system of government adopted officially by the 1860s by the Britannic Empire. And now the standard world language is Imperial English. And the standard world government edict and directive and prime operational system is global technocratic eugenics based world government. The elite know everything is in the genetics. They seek to become God, to repair their own inbred genetics, and to suppress and supplant the rest of humanity. They are creating a genetic dictatorship worldwide. They are assaulting us through trans mutagenic GMO systems now being added to the crops. There's an article on Infowars.com about it that is absolutely incredible. And when you know eugenics, folks, you know everything about these people. And then you go look up the people that had Monsanto and GlaxoSmithKline and Bayer and Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan. Bank, all of them. They go to eugenics conferences. They go to sub-eugenics conferences. They go to groups that were called eugenics organizations. The Eugenical Society until the 40s and Hitler made them look bad. And they literally rule the planet. Except for the Russians, they haven't mopped up yet, and the Iranians. And it doesn't mean the Russians or Iranians are good. It means the global Borg are bringing them down. In fact, they just put the headline up from Infowars.com today, Daniel Taylor. New form of GMO sneaking into food supply this year. Technological elite engage in mission to attain full spectrum dominance over life. And that's their words. We are under... <laughs> Just total assault. And, and the only way to get around this is admitting it. You can't just play patty cake with this. We're not going to sit here with half measures and get out of this. I want to explain this again. Russia has been supine in the last 20 years, since 1991. So, how many years is that? 20 plus? I guess under Common Core it could be 100 years because 2 plus 2 could equal anything. I know it's 23, but you know, the, 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 the point is it could be anything they say. Like randomly, I could just randomly dial phone numbers on a phone and might as well just, it should work. I mean, Obama said so. See, this is the age of total mental illness and total fraud with a public that's been brought up in front of television sets. And so people don't understand that the website was not meant to work so they can make it about the broken website. People don't understand the scams. I do. I know what they're going to do before they do it. It's very nightmarish, by the way. It's nightmarish to not be arrogant and to be able to sit down with major CEOs of major companies who get a lot of it and say, you'll never stop it. You might as well just join with it. Or to talk to major you know, people that are very successful and, and billionaires and people, and they don't even understand it all. They know their business and that's it. I mean, it's very lonely sitting here, watching it all in white papers and all public, taking place in front of me, and people have lived their lives in it, so they're comfortable with it, and they've adapted to it in a bad way. And that was the great epiphany I was given by the head of a major U.S. bank off record on that first class American Airlines flight to be on The View. He was on the plane in his perfect suit, unwrinkled. And when he got up from it and put on his overcoat, he looked like something out of a, out of a you know, Nordstrom's catalog. And he looked at me and he laughed at me and he said, they will adapt to whatever we do. Don't you understand, not all adaptation is good. And he laughed at me and said, we win, you lose. And at that point, with the demonic power he had, he had twice the male vigor that I had. In his focused evil, you could tell the guy didn't use drugs, didn't drink, didn't eat fattening food, nothing. He just looked at me after three hours talking on the plane. And he finally quit the nice guy act and says, as we're getting up, he goes, you really want to know? They're all going to adapt to what we do.
They'll muddle through everything, and there's no way out of it. And he got up and put his coat on like a Darth Vader stormtrooper and marched off that plane. And I look at the public who are like mindless children who have no idea what they're facing. These people put poison in your water and laugh at you. They put poison in my water. And I don't do enough to filter the water I bathe in, even though I give people the advice to do it here. The filter breaks, I turn it off, never get the people to come replace it. And I've been six months without a filter. I mean, I am pathetic, ladies and gentlemen. I have adapted to bathing in poison. I have adapted to using a smartphone even though it radiates me and tracks everything I do. I have adapted to not getting enough sleep and not taking care of myself. I have adapted. The world goes on. And we're gonna adapt to half the public dying of cancer by 2025 in major government numbers. Pull it up. Half the public's going to have or be dying of cancer by 2025 in the West. You go to the third world, middle of nowhere, nobody's dying of cancer. And I'm not trying to get negative here, folks. It's already going on. You might as well know what's happening. You might as well be aware of what's happening. The level of mind control, the Stockholm Syndrome of loving your abuser is so great 95% of black people in this country vote for the Democratic Party whose sworn goal under Margaret Sanger and the Great Society is to exterminate every one of you off the face of the earth. And then to give you the hip-hop gangster culture on record in the 90s to weaponize you, to act like gangsters so the police can be trained. So you wear your gangster tough guy uniform, the police are then trained you're a thug and are trained to put you in jail. And you literally go out and wear the uniform of a prisoner with your pants hanging down over your butt and everything else. And Hollywood says it's cool, so everyone gets behind it to convert the culture to that. And the police, like attack dogs, like a foxhound is trained to kill foxes. The police are trained to go after gangbangers, and then you go dress like a gangbanger and try to act hard. I don't care what color you are, but it started with the black folks. And then they put you in a prison where you go to jail for petty reasons when you're in juvenile, and then the gangs induct you. If you're lucky, they don't bend you over and give you HIV. And then when you get out of juvie, well, now you've gone to school to be a prisoner, to be institutionalized, and now you're put out on the street, and they choose a few dozen of you out of tens of millions of, 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 of wannabe gangsters, and they let you sit there rapping with a big fat belly hanging out, and throw some women up there with you, and then the kids think that's how they get ahead, when really you're being inducted directly into the prisons on record, where they get state laws passed all over the country, where they got to have 90% occupancy in the Wacken Hut uh, and, uh, you know, uh, type industrial prisons. You can walk over and talk to one of these kids, one of these uh, white, black, it doesn't matter who's into that whole gangster culture. They don't know what planet they're on. I was in a gas station the other day, and they had one of those coffee machines where you put the coffee in and pick the one you want and hit the button. And there was a group of these trendies, uh, hip-hop people in there, and they didn't know how to use it, folks. You could tell they grew up in their diapers, getting their diapers changed every two days. Uh, you know, my mom goes out with these loaves and fishes, and she does meals on wheels, too, and she says, I need to go with her. I haven't gone since I was a teenager. And she goes into East Austin, and these kids see them and run up and they'll have like a sandwich and some chips or whatever and they give them and the kids sit there and just beg them and thank them and gobble it up and haven't you know sometimes seen their parents in days no cps is coming to take those kids the cps is only coming if you've got a healthy child they can adopt out or maybe they take a fancy to want to bend them over and rape them so that's how this country really works i mean let's let's stop being naive about all this let's stop being fools I literally watch the thug culture of everyone trying to walk around acting tough. It's a fake alpha male act. And the women are so lost. The women are so desperately destroyed that, that because MTV said so, they actually believe they're going to be successful attaching themselves to some 20-year-old, 10-year-old who literally thinks acting like a wannabe gangster is tough. 
That's weaponized culture. Just like they had the feminists, they couldn't get half the population to smoke. Women wouldn't smoke. Seen as unladylike, so they had feminists go around and smoke cigarettes and say, show your man in the newspapers. Show him your independent smoke cigarettes. And of course, now women lead the United States in lung cancer. It's sexy to get your lungs chopped out. You, you, didn't, you didn't know that? Sure killed my grandmother. She was a lot tougher than a man. Uh, women are tougher than men. They chopped her lung out first and a bunch of other stuff. She took them 10 years to kill her. 